In case you didn't know, Windows uh, can be downloading uh, your Windows update files from other computers, both from the internet or on uh, from your local uh, network if you have more than one computer. But we're going to go into the settings here and under Windows Update, we're going to take a look at the advanced options here. Now we're going to skip all this stuff and go right down here to delivery optimization here, which is what I want to talk about today. So if we click on that, you'll see that this section allows other PCs on the internet to uh, download your files or for you to upload from their PCs. Now let's be very clear. What this allows is Microsoft is going to allow your files from your PC, the recently uploaded ones that you already have uploaded, to be uploaded to other PCs either on your network or on somebody else's PC outside of your network. So that's what it means it won't use up your monthly allocation if you're on a limited plan. Uh, so it uses up all your data uh, just to help other people out. But no mistake about it, that your PC's performance could be affected because it's busy uploading files from other people. Conversely, it could be improved because you get your updates faster, either from local PCs or PCs that uh, aren't bogged down in case Microsoft servers are. So here's where you make that decision, where you can allow it from your local network or for all the PCs on, on the Internet. But what's new in the Windows Creator Update is uh, a couple things. First is we're going to talk about the advanced options. Uh, down here. Now because Microsoft wants you to opt in and, and get downloads from other PCs or other PCs get downloads from you, they don't want everybody to opt out of that feature uh, which puts more impact on their servers. They give you the option to control it. You can sit there and uh, take a look. You can limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background because uh, maybe it's uh, too resource inten intensive and your system slows down. Same with uploading, okay? Limit how much bandwidth is being used to upload to other PCs, either on uh, your own network or other people's. And you can actually limit the monthly upload uh, amount that you're going to uh, upload that you can contribute. So uh, going back to here, I'm going to limit my download settings to only 23% of uh, bandwidth uh, so that my communications, like from browsing the web or something, uh, doesn't get robbed of speed because of uh, backgrounds are using up half my resources. And you can do that the same for any of these. But besides these, if we go back, you can actually measure the success by your activity monitor. Now you'll see here that all of my files have been coming from Microsoft, uh, none from my local network, and none from the internet. Uh, so that, I, and the same thing down here about uploads, and it tells me exactly how well I'm uh, controlling that amount. So you can check back here to make sure everything's working correctly for you. So there you have it. Uh, manage your background uh, download process as an upload process to make your PC run uh, that much better.